we will start to make our way on to our backs. And start taking that moment to move into your breath. Letting the inhales and exhales lengthen. Letting that breath slow so that it begins to move in and out from just the nose for equal intervals. And then as you're ready, we're just going to draw the right knee in and your wind removing pose, pulling it towards the shoulder. Maybe the feet are kind of rolling out the ankles. Maybe you already want to flex them. Just sort of checking in with where you are today. And then we're going to extend that foot straight up to the ceiling. And it's totally fine if there's a bend in the knee. Really warmed up here. And then as you exhale, you're just gonna let that knee drop, that leg drop open towards the right. About one, that body starting to roll, the left side of the body starting to drop from that. So don't worry about it. The body will open. And then as you inhale, we're bringing that leg back up. You're going to brace behind the knee. If you can already grab the toe, feel free to do so. But as you inhale, take that nose up towards the knee. And as you exhale, starting to release head and foot, and then drawing the left knee up and in, finding that wind removing pose. Again, feeling free to do whatever the ankles need, flex feet, rolling them out. That foot towards the ceiling. And again, feeling free to keep a bend in that knee, brace wherever feels good for you. Exhale, you're going to drop the leg open towards the left. Again, not worrying too much about your alignment, just kind of letting that nice opening start to happen. As you get all the legs coming back up, you're going to brace somewhere on the leg so that you can move the nose up towards the knee. In that next breath, we're going to draw the left knee into the chest. The right knee is going to go ahead and come up and meet it, taking just a quick second to rock that back side to side, rolling up the low back, and then where the arms come out into a T. Cactus arms. We're going to take the legs straight up, taking a quick moment for a waterfall, getting the feet above the heart. And in that next breath, you're going to flex the toes towards the face and we're going to take the leg lift. So the heels move slow and slowly or quickly down towards the mat as you would like them to do. And then the lift. The more the heels go, the harder you're working. The faster they go, you've got momentum on your side. Eight. Once you let it come back up for eight, 
your way front to back as we make our way into your tabletop. And then once you're in that tabletop, just starting to move through some cat and cow, whatever movement that you might need. And in that next breath, you're going to take this right leg up. The knee is bent. Nice. And you're just going to do eight little donkey kicks. So one, two, nice. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After that eighth one, we're going to swing the leg around, stepping it to the outside of your hands. And just pulling forward through that front knee to get a nice stretch through the left hip flexor. Nice. And then in that next breath, we're going to push back so that you kind of have the support of that back leg, the foot grounded. Inhale, and then you'll press the hips forward and draw the fingers back. Moving into that supported. Then that next breath, hands are coming to the feet. You're going to reach that left foot back, plug the toes in, really ground through the hands. Right foot goes back to meet left. We've got five breaths in a plank. You want to go ahead and throw in some push up here, feel free to do so. We're just going to revisit our tabletop, move through the type of movement that you need to here. And then the left leg comes up, the knee is bent, the leg is trying to be somewhat in line with your spine. We've got the donkey kick. Six, seven, eight. And then we're coming into that lunge. So the left foot swings around. We're really pulling forward through that left knee to release the right of the front hip. From here, we're going to shift back just a little bit because it kind of helps, for me at least, it helps with getting into that to the warrior. Next breath, we're going to take the hands to the mat, plug in the back right toes, really press through the hands, find your plank. And then from here, you're going to lower through a chaturanga. Take it back to the quick child's pose. Fingertips to really get that release along the backs of the spine. Go back to the shoulder blades. Here, we're going to come back forward into your plank. And when you find that plank, we're going to do five shoulder taps. So the right hand comes to left, one, left to right, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, last one, five, five. We're going to make our way down, nailing into your up dog or cobra, taking it back to down dog. Five breaths here. This is kind of our first one. So if you need to pedal out the heels, find any movement here. And we're just going to take it to the top of our mats. Get into your flat back and get into your hold of choice. So maybe you have ragdolls here. And you are you ready to find? And 
And as you inhale, the arms are going to come up overhead. Interlace the fingers with the pointer finger extended. Towards the spine. And then pull the arms up a little farther. And then exhaling as you tip over towards the right. Spinning that right shoulder forward and that left hip forward. So you're finding that straight line. Find a bit to go out to the top of your mat. Think about gluing the arms to the ears. Trace the fingers back. When the arms disconnect from the ears, that's your back bend. Now, so we're going to take it down towards the mat. You're going to bend the knees so that the torso is finding the top of the thighs. You're around grabbing the ankles behind you so the forearms are wrapping. You might be able to step onto the fingers, inhaling at the bottom, and exhaling as you straighten the knees to the best of your bend. And then whenever you're ready, releasing, inhaling, arms are going to come back up overhead. Center. So we're going to move through a traditional sun A, not doing any weirdness in there, and we'll start to move the foot. So inhale, arms are going to come up. Exhale as you fold. Inhaling, flat back. Exhaling, plank and chaturanga. Inhaling into your cobra. Inhaling back into down dog. Five breaths here. Taking whatever you need. And then when you're ready, we're going to make our way up to the hands in your favorite method. Finding your flat back. Holding. Inhaling, the arms are coming up. Exhale, hands come into heart center. We're going to start to make our way into some sort of flow. We're going to see what happens. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, folding towards your mat. Inhaling into your flat back. Exhaling to move through your vinyasa, whatever your chosen vinyasa of the day is. Maybe it's traditional. Maybe it's your own remix. We'll meet up in down dog. And the right leg's going to lift. And we want to first try thinking about trying to lift it toward your straight line from finger to toe, keeping the hips parallel to the ground. So you're working the core, holding that leg up. And then when you're ready, you're going to start to stack the hips. Maybe the legs stay straight. Maybe you like the feeling of bending the knee, doing some hip circles here. In that breath, we're taking the right foot in between the hands. Back heel is going to put it in as you come all the way up and over into a peaceful warrior. From peaceful, you're going to find a warrior two. And then you're going to take the hands, clasping them behind your back, rolling the shoulders open, inhaling for a leap, exhaling to fold into a humble warrior. From humble warrior, we're going to let the hands come plant inside of the feet. You're going to pivot the toes towards the front of your mat and feel free to move through some skandasanas, 
maybe you hold one, maybe you like to move back and forth. And that fifth breath, the right foot comes back forward. You're gonna crawl around so that you're framing the foot. You'll end up coming onto those back toes. Nice. And whenever you're ready, you're gonna shoot the right foot back. We're gonna try to hover it while you move through your vinyasa. And then take it back to the down dog. And then the left leg is gonna lift. We're gonna try to keep the, the hips level to the mat first. So try and get that long line, really engaging the core as you hold the leg up. And that next breath, you're gonna stack, move through whatever you need to with that top leg. Feel like you're really making that hit feel nice and warm. Then you're going to step the foot in between the hands. Back heel pivots in, and you're moving all the way up and over into your reverse warrior. From reverse warrior two. Hands are going to clasp behind your back. Shoulders roll open. Inhaling for me. Exhaling into your humble warrior. In that next breath, we're going to let the hands come settle inside the left foot. The toes pivot forward. Once again, kind of finding that movement. And then with that next breath, we're going to find ourselves towards the back of our mat in your skandasana. You might be able to get this back heel down. You might be up on the toes. But we're going to start to try to take a twist or like a little bind here. So as you, you're going to take the right arm. You start to rotate it back as you wrap around that knee. You might stay there. You might be able to take the other arm behind the back. Big on the ankles. And whenever you're ready, we're gonna stand asana over onto the front. Maybe you're on the toes. Maybe you're all the way flat footed. Maybe the foot in the back is grounded like your warrior feet. Maybe the toes are up. But we're going to try to get this left arm to rotate around that leg. The back of the palms finding the back. Other arm might be able to bind. And just feeling how that bind kind of really helps you get into the ankle. And whenever you're ready, we're going to release that. Hands come back to the front of your mat. And back to your plank. Trying to hover the left leg as we move through that vinyasa. Taking it back to your down dog. You've got five breaths here. And then as you exhale, you're going to bend the knees, taking the hip back towards the heels and try to froggy hop into your malasana squat. Nice. Cool. And so from Malasana, we're going to take a quick second to play in the ankles and toes. I know that Jen and I have been having you guys do some toes for more of play lately, so you probably have a lot more street hair than you realize. I'm going to try to stay in your Malasana. Come up onto the tiptoes. Get a breath here, come down, or do that four more times. So see if you can't come all the way up onto your tiptoes. Grab a little balance. 
Heart work down. Three, four, last one, five. And once the hips, the, everything comes down, hands find the mat, hips go up, moving into your favorite forward fold. Inhaling, arms are going overhead. Feet are coming back together as we find our way into a Tadasana or mountain pose. We're going to move through another flow, so arms are coming back up. Exhaling as we fold. Inhaling into your flat back. Moving through your variation of vinyasa. Back to down dog. The right leg comes up. We're thinking about keeping the hips parallel again. Leg straight out. This time you're going to bend that knee. Just straight up. We're not stacking hips. And we're going to do eight donkey kicks here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stepping through. Spinning open into your warrior two. From warrior two, you're going to drop back into your reverse. Reverse, we're coming back out. Pulling forward through the fingertips trying to settle this right hand to the inside of the right thigh, spinning all the way open. From here, we're gonna take it all the way back up and over again. And then you're going to cartwheel on down. We're going to find our plank. Before we go through plank, we're going to see if we can't do five more shoulder taps. So one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. I promise you guys we're not doing any boats today though as we go through our vinyasa. Pedaling anything out that you need to here. Then you're going to take that left leg up. You know we're finding that donkey kick position. You've got eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stepping on through, finding that warrior two. Taking it on back into your reverse. And then hinging down and over into that side angle triangle variation. If you'd rather take one of the other postures, feel free to do so. From here. We're taking it all the way back into the reverse. One more reverse. And then cartwheeling on down. We're going to find that plank. And we're going to do from here, we're going to do five low plank, high plank. Two, three, four, and five. Once you get back to your high plank, move through your vinyasa. So we'll take it back to a child's. Then 
Then inhaling, we're gonna take that right arm up, thread it beneath your left. Maybe you stay here on a traditional threaded needle. Maybe you take your bind. Right arm comes back forward, threading that left. And then from here, we're just going to push on up into a tabletop, release any tension in the back. Once you find, after that, we're going to find our neutral tabletop spine, tuck the toes, knees are hovering three inches off of your mat. With your next exhale, down dog. Right leg lifts. If you want to flip it this time, feel free to flip it. And that fifth breath will leap back up in your three pointed. Step the right foot on through into your crescent. From crescent, hands are coming to the hips. We're going to start to bring the weight to this front right foot, coming up into your high knee. Maybe you hold the knee here. Maybe you extend. We're going to open out to the left. then find your treat. After a tree, we're just going to release that foot. Inhale up. Exhale into a fold. Walk yourself out to plank. And we're going to move through a vinyasa to get to the left. Taking it back from the left side. If you want to flip your dog, now's the time. Coming on back into your three pointed, stepping into your crescent. And from crescent, hands are coming to the hips. Right knee comes forward into your high knee and or your stand or, or to the toe and extend it. Opening to the right. And finding your tree. From here, foot so releases, inhaling, coming up, exhaling, and up, fold, inhaling into your flat back. And as you exhale, really enjoy this fold. And then we're walking the hands back out to your plank. We're going to move through a vinyasa. Taking it back to that down dog. Hey, Tito. No, Milo, 
No. Sorry. Hands go to the feet. He decided the cat was not allowed in the house. Sometimes he doesn't like the cat. And we're going to make our way back up towards standing. And we're going to move through one last little flow to see if we can't grab that big balance. And then we'll start to make our way towards the floor. So as you inhale, arms come up. Exhale to pull. Inhale, halfway lifting, moving through your vinyasa. And then when you're ready, that right foot comes up. We're going to take it to the back of the right elbow. Up. Left. Up. And then stepping the right foot into crescent. Coming up into your crescent. And then once again, we'll bring it whatever way you like to transition. Just for me, hands at the waist helps me stay stable. Left knee comes up. So you're in that high knee. From here, you're going to take your pick. You're going to come into your four legs, or you're going to try to keep that foot extended. Really engage the core as you start to come down onto that toe. You can always use a hand to support you too. So you might just stay here. You might find that you're here. It's actually easier to find balance, figure four. Nice. Nice. So we'll just play with that figure four leg. Cool. So from here, we're going to go ahead and ground that knee so we can get the hands to the mat. You're going to take yourself into a down dog with your figure forward leg. Find your thin back down into that squat. We're going to take it up. Four more of those. So squat. Up. Three, four. four. You know, I don't think we're going to improv these ever again. They're hard. Five. From there, we're going to find our three pointed with that left foot extended. Shake it on out. Come back down to your down dog. Find whatever movement you need to here. I'm going to take that left leg up. We're going to take it to the back of the left elbow. Coming up. Back of the right. Coming up. Find our crescent. Be happy that our crescent is somewhat of a regular posture. And then we're going to transition up into that high knee. We're going to go ahead and figure for it. And then start to make our way down. See if we can't find that little toe squat. You can always stay here. Or you can try to lean back more towards the heel. And take it into a balance. Nice. And then from there, however we need to do to get the hands in front of the knee grounded, those back toes are tucked. We've got our figure forward down dog for five breaths. Now we're going to come back down. We've got those five. Seeing the jigger, so hips up, knee bends, hips up, three, four, 
And on this fifth one, we're gonna stay down here for five breaths, because last time we held it there for five. Taking it back up, releasing that foot, pedaling it out. Moving through a vinyasa to get to seated. Inhale up. Maybe you jump through down dog. Maybe you're lazy like me, you just can't get from your up dog. <laughs> <laughs> In that next breath, where it's going to start to find legs extended out front, feet flexed back. Maybe you like to roll the big toes towards each other. Of course, moving into a forward fold, so arms are coming up. Exhaling into your fold. Inhaling, we're coming back up. From here, we're going to take this left leg. Start to place it back behind you, so you might have to roll the calf out of your way. You might also have to readjust your seat. The knees can be together or far apart. We are going to fold here. I personally like to keep my hands back here, because otherwise I'll roll off to one of my sides. If I can really press down, I tend to be able to fold forward with the flat back and keeping those sitting bones connected to the mat into your half heroes. Inhale, we're coming on back up. And we're just going to switch it so the left leg's coming forward. Right leg starting to go back. Rolling any of your muscles out of the way that you need to. The knees can be together or far apart. Just kind of judge by what they're telling you. Either taking the hands to the feet or planting them on your mat. We're going to fold back forward. Inhale and we're coming back up. We're going to take this leg back forward. Left leg is going to find the inner thigh of the right. Inhaling, the arms are coming up. Exhaling, you're folding. Inhaling back up, we're going to switch our sides. The right foot finds the left inner thigh. Inhaling, arms come up. Exhaling into your fold. And that next breath, we're coming back up. We're going to bring the feet into Baddha Konasana or your butterfly. Feet are close in or far apart, whichever you prefer. Inhaling for your leap. Exhaling into your fold. As you inhale, we're coming up. So from here, you are going to let this left leg come long but it's planted on the mat so that you can shimmy the right foot around to this left, the outer left thigh. So once you're here, you're gonna start to take this left foot and kick back up. Now when you exhale, you're going to set that foot to the outside of the bent knee. Your left hand comes to the outside of your left hip. Inhaling, the right comes up. Exhaling to get that right forearm or the right arm to the outside of the left knee. 
from here, you can either stay here or take the arm to the toes or start to move to that bind. You're gonna take the gaze over that far shoulder. And when you're ready, we're releasing that. And then we're gonna switch it. So, yep. We're gonna plant the right foot on the mat. Left foot shimmies to the outside of the right hip. You're gonna see if you can't grab that foot and move back into your, this is another variation of that, of the pistol posture. I can't remember what it's called since it's not technically a squat. And then you're gonna set the right foot to the outside of the left knee. Right hand plants the back next to that hip. Inhale, left arm comes up. Find the outside of the right knee. Staying here, starting to move towards the bind, or even see if you can find the bind. Then once you've got that, we're going to release all that. We're going to bring the feet out. If you took a Baddha Konasana with the feet close into the body, you're going to take them far out this time. If they were far out last time, you're going to bring them in. If you remember whether or not you curved or stayed flat with your spine, we're going to try to do the opposite. We're going to start to make our way up from here. The knees roll up. We're going to start coming on to the back, moving into our back bending. So we have, we'll do two back bends for an eight count, feeling free to take whatever you want. Um, as usual, I will cue bridge and wheel because those are typically the most popular, but if you're doing a different one, feel free to. So you're going to find your back. Heels are in close to the sitting bones, align with them. Bridges, palms are down by the side, press into your mat. Wheels, hands are up near your ears, fingers pointed back towards the shoulders. Inhaling at the bottom, exhaling as you lift the hips. Rolling the shoulders beneath you the bridge. Checking on those knees and ankles, elbows and shoulders and wrists. And after that eighth breath, finding your favorite counter pose. Whatever gets the back flat against the mat. Maybe you like something subtle like when she'll wipe her knees. Maybe you're a happy baby fan. And those next couple breaths, we're gonna set up for our second back bend. So once again, feet are close into the sitting bones, aligned with them. Palms are either down by the side, pressed into the mat, or up near the ears with fingertips pointed back towards the shoulders. Inhaling at the bottom, exhaling as you find your back bend for each of your own breath. And after that eighth breath, finding your counter pose once again. Just getting the back flat against the mat, trying to release anything that may have come up. With that next breath, we'll just take the arms out, let the feet plant on the mat. Maybe you take a regular supine twist. Maybe you cross one leg over the other, whatever you choose, we're taking it to the right. Maybe that regardless of what you did with your legs, the gaze can probably go to the left, unless that's feeling wonky on your neck.
From here, you're coming through your center. If you cross the leg, switching it, taking it to the left. And from here, coming back, we're going to start to make our way towards inversions, feeling free to take whatever you like to take. We'll be here for about 10, 15, maybe even a little bit longer for us. So if you have a toy and you want to play, if you want to go into just the legs up, if you like shoulder stand, whatever is your fancy today, you've got, like I said, we want to our goal is 10 breaths, but you know, that's the best part about practice. You don't always have to find that goal, you just keep working towards it. And when you've got your 10 breaths, we'll start making our way towards the back. And there's no rush here. And then when you find the back, we're gonna flex the left foot, take the right foot all the way up, sliding whatever place feels natural to find, keeping the leg as straight or as bent as you need, and maybe noticing how the body is different now versus when you took this posture the first time versus the way it might feel standing. Both feet flexed, you're going to draw open towards the left. Again, just kind of observing the differences in the body. Legs going to come up. So you have the toe, switching your grip. You take it all the way across to the left. This posture can feel very different with the leg extended or the knee bent. So taking whichever opener feels best in your body today. You might even be able to take the gaze towards the right. That leg's going to come back up. Curl up the knee, bend, and then pull the knee into the shoulder, trying to avoid the rib cage. So reliving that limb removing posture. From here, releasing the right leg. Left leg comes up, finding wherever feels good on that leg. Maybe it's the toes, maybe it's somewhere else, maybe you've got a little bit of a bent knee. We're going to flex both feet, drop open towards the left.
Then we're coming up, switching whatever grip you have, taking the leg across the body towards the right, letting that left shoulder roll open, maybe taking the gaze to the left fingertips. Leg comes up, bending the knee to pull it into your window moving pose. And then from here, releasing that leg. The legs come long. Take the arms up overhead. Interlacing the fingertips, letting the pointer finger extend. The legs are going to stay straight as you start to tip over towards the right, keeping the flat back, staying connected to your mat. So noticing how different that half moon feels from laying down versus when we were standing. You might find that you were able to get a slightly deeper curve in the side body. Going back towards center, inhaling to reach. Exhaling one over towards the left. Now when you're ready, we're coming back towards center. We're going to draw the knees up so you're a little ball. Rocking side to side, maybe finding some compression. Just finding whatever last movement, whatever last motions you need to make your way into your Shavasana. And then once you find your Shavasana, starting to move into that breath. Letting it return to normal. <sighs> Trying to get as much peace and relaxation in as you can.
With those next couple breaths, you're going to start bringing the small movements back to the body, starting in fingers and toes, moving into wrist and ankles. Whenever you're ready, we're going to make it back to seated. Then as you inhale, arms come up, exhale, hands come in. Thank you guys so much for playing. You guys have an awesome Thursday. Namaste.